एवरीवन वेलकम टू वर्षा चैनल हियर आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट हाइब्रिड सीड प्रोडक्शन टेक्नोलॉजी इन मेज व्हिच इंक्लूड्स बोथ प्रोडक्शन एज वेल एज पैकेज ऑफ प्रैक्टिसेस डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ मेज एज एन इंट्रोडक्शन आई विल टॉक अबाउट द टाइप्स ऑफ मेज फर्स्ट वन इज डेंट कॉर्न डेंट कॉर्न इज कैरेक्टराइज्ड बाय ए डिप्रेशन और जनरली कॉल्ड एज डेंट इन द crown caused by the rapid drying and shrinkage of the soft starch at the crown of the multiple colors available yellow and white colors dominate the commercial production of dent corn the second is flint corn this is predominantly composed of cornus or hard starch that encloses the soft starch at the center the kernels are smooth hard and usually round floricorn it consists of almost entirely of soft starch and accordingly the kernels are soft it has the shape of dent corn but shrinks uniformly upon drying popcorn it is an extreme form of flint corn it's very hard kernels endosperm with only a small portion of soft starch the most common color of the kernel are yellow or white the kernel pop up heating as a result of unique quality of endosperm that makes it resist the stream pressure steam pressure generated until it reaches explosive proportion sweet corn This corn kernel is characterized by a translucent and wrinkled appearance upon drying. The immature kernels are sweet in taste. The predominant genes of sweet corn are SU gene or SI gene and other genes. Waxy corn. It is a uniformly dull appearance. Instead of amylose, the starch of waxy corn is amylopectin. as the result of waxy mutation ordinarily corn consists of about 78% amylopectin it may range up to 90% a high molecular weight branded chain starch and 22% amylose a low molecular weight straight chain starch there are also reports that some of the waxy corn may be consisting of 100% amylopectin pod corn it has primitive feature each kernel being enclosed in a pod or husk before the entire ear is enclosed in husk like other corns the primitive corn which was uh, teosinte is like pod corn that was enclosed in a pod shape and afterwards during the process of evolution the pod corn became like field corn corn which was enclosed in a sheath like formation or generally or popularly we call it as husk hybrid maize it is the progeny produced by a cross between two different parents two or more we can say why hybrid because to generate more vigorous and high yielding crop here uh, i have given different kinds of uh, hybrids first one is single cross in single cross both the parents are inbreds uh, to give the definition of inbred inbred is a homogeneous or homozygous line which is a parental material to form a hybrid or in other words we can say inbreds as such cannot be utilized as varieties but it can only be developed and maintained in order to generate the hybrids single crosses yield the lowest seed price is high hybrid characteristic is uniform hybrid grain yield is highest three way crosses three way cross consists of female parent as single cross and male as inbred seed yield is high seed price is moderate hybrid character is slightly variable and hybrid grain yield is high as if uh, the major goal is to produce high yield means means in order to get per, um, per acre availability or productivity we can say if we'll go to double cross or three way cross we may get better yield but if we have to get uniform as 
as well as yield means single cross is the best in double cross it is somewhat similar to uh, three way cross where we take single cross hybrid as female parent and another single cross hybrid as male parent and seed yield is highest here seed price is low hybrid characteristic is highly variable and moderate to high hybrid grain yield can be obtained top cross top cross is nothing but open pollinated variety into inbred seed yield is moderate price is low uh, then uh, hybrid characteristic is highly variable and hybrid grain yield is moderate last one is varietal cross uh, we can also go for double top uh, double top cross where we can uh, go for uh, f1 into uh, in red line or we can say f1 into opv is double top cross that uh, also yields moderate product varietal cross in varietal cross we take open pollinated variety into open pollinated variety here seed yield is moderate to high price of the seed is low and hybrid characteristic is highly variable and grain yield is moderate to low hybrid maize types as here it is given single cross means a cross between two unrelated hybrids three way cross means cross between single cross and an inbred that is a into b or that f1 into c double cross is cross between two single crosses modified single cross means a progeny from two related inbreds as the seed parent and an unrelated inbred as the pollen parent that may be represented as a into a dash into b double modified single cross it's a progeny from two single crosses each developed by crossing two related inbreds that is a into a dash b into b dash modified three way hybrid this is a progeny of single cross as female parent and another cross between two related inbreds that is represented as a into b into c into c dash non conventional hybrids uh, so far whatever i have covered was uh, in the previous slide was conventional hybrid and in the non conventional hybrids first one is inter varietal hybrid this is formed by intercrossing of two varieties approximately equivalent to synthetic or composites top cross hybrid are inbred into varietal hybrid this is also inbred into variety or inbred into synthetic or inbred into family inter family hybrids the progeny resulting from crosses of two families originating from the same population or of two different populations double top cross hybrid it's the progeny of a single cross and a variety single double and three way cross hybrids have most been commercialized worldwide during the initial corn improvement during shell or east or jones period and initially single crosses were developed by but afterwards double crosses were more popular but when the production cost as well as the land availability started declining and more labor involvement was there in production of single cross hybrid uh, double cross hybrids again the demand shifted to single cross hybrid the main background or the attractivity of single cross hybrid is it is most uniform as well as the production or productivity is as in um, on par with the double cross hybrids advantages of single cross hybrids it has high acceptability among the farmers and require only two parents highest yield potential among cereals as per day productivity is more it is being maize is a c4 crop has better adaptation under climate change tolerate to biotic and abiotic stress tolerate to water stress due to better root system 
decreases need for irrigation water less yield reduction under nutrient stress condition i am continuing the advantages of going for cultivating single cross hybrids then quick and higher percentage of germination it requires less number of isolations that may be only 3 faster growth and most uniform crop diversification and low cost of seed production food income and nutritional security for resource poor farmer families easy to market because of its uniformity and high productivity single cross hybrids are homogeneous whereas all other kinds of hybrids are heterogeneous prerequisites for hybrid seed production uh, here comes from here onwards it uh, includes the package of practice good compatible uniform productive and diverse parents are the first and prime most requirement proper site selection avoid sites where preceding crop was maize due to the contamination as well as other problems fertile and quality land with good quality and assured irrigation proper isolation distance knowledge of recommended package of practices technically experienced manpower and stress free season characteristic of good seed parent the female parent must be productive strong long cob with complete exertion low cob placement shorter and this is silking interval nutrient responsive with stay green traits here yeah, i just want to tell you about what are the stay green traits stay green trait is nothing but as the cereals or any pulses or anything which are preferred for fodder purpose of the animals they should have stay green traits that means if the green trait is still available during or after the harvesting that can be utilized as such as fodder to the catchers so this is a specific character where we can go for the selections while practicing the selection in plant breeding erect leaves is the another character why erect leaves because it gets the more photosynthesis due to direct sunlight penetration on the leaves resistant even it uh, uh, avoids the interline competition for light and other resources resistant or tolerant to biotic and abiotic stress then strong root system like wheat uh, or uh, rice or any other things we can't expect a strong root or deep root system we can expect strong root but not the deep root system in maize because it is uh, it can tolerate or it can withstand the moisture stress up to certain limit so uh, it should have it must have strong root system then the characteristics of male parent male parent must have lax tassel long main branch with few secondary branches long duration of pollen shedding taller than female parent attractive grain color strong resistant to lodging with better root system high yield potential resistant or tolerant to biotic and abiotic stress important considerations for hybrid seed production are proper isolation distance if isolation distance is mainly recommended in order to manage pollen drift isolation distance is accomplished in three ways including distance time and good that is spatio temporal synchronization distance time and good synchronization practice of nicking that is when the pollen parent starts shedding just before silk emergence in the female parent it also includes planting a barrier of foundation or certified seed of the same variety on all sides about 15 meter from the production block that means the border rows are highly recommended <coughs> that may be either 6 or 8 or 
uh, any number of lines which can avoid the foreign foreign pollen contamination it depends upon wind velocity seasonal solution of uh, isolation of hybrids of 500 meter it also depends on the um, activity of uh, honey bees or any other insects in the near surrounding region male female ratio this is one of the um, primary recommendation in the hybrid seed production there is no hard and fast rule for male female ratio it depends on region to region the pollen shedding potential of male parent and male female synchrony in the flowering different ratios may be 1 is to 2 is to 1 or 1 is to 3 or 1 is to 4 in north india it is generally 1 is to 3 and in south india it is 1 is to 4 to bring male female synchrony what we can do the suggested planting of male and female lines that is staggered planting then manipulation in the plant distance by spaced and narrow planting irrigation along fertilizer application application of fim in either male or female to induce earliness and vigor technology for hybrid seed production for in field conditions we should have well drained seed production site this is weed pest free preferably the field where preceding crop was not maize to maintain the genetic purity to avoid the volunteer plants time of sowing for most part of india first week of july in kharif to avoid flowering during heavy rains that may wash off the pollens in rabi recommendation is first week of november uh, to avoid low temperature during flowering as that also may kill anthers methods of sowing and layout sowing should be done on the southern side of the east west ridges for good germination with the spacing of 60 into 20 it also varies for flat sowing and ridge and furrow sowing this is ridge and furrow and this is mainly practiced in order to avoid the water stagnation during rainy season it is a this is a popular technique and flat bed is mostly preferred during the winter if we are going for ridge and furrow the recommended spacing may be 19 to 20 or if we are going for flat bed it may be 16 to 20 cm this is spacing help in easy movement in the field as well as mechanical harvesting may be for roguing removal of tassel improving test weight etc seed rate seed rate depends on seed size or test weight of male and female seed plant type in case of erect plant higher seed rate is recommended male female ratio optimum rate is 15 kg per hectare for female and 10 kg per hectare for male minimum germination percent recommended is 80% in hybrids seed treatment necessary to protect the seeds from soil borne diseases and some insect pests bevestin plus captain in 1 is to 1 ratio at the rate of 2 g per kg seeds for uh, tarsicum leaf blight or blended leaf and sheath blight or medis leaf blight etc apron 35 st at the rate of 4 g per kg for brown stripe uh, downy mildew captain 250 g per kg for a pythium stock rot then imidacloprid at the rate of 4 g per kg or fipronil at the rate of 4 ml per kg seed for termite and shoot fly this is also recommended for the uh, other shoot flies nutrient management 
inbreds require high fertility as compared to hybrids. FIM at the rate of 15 tons per hectare 15 days prior to seeding. seeding. Fertilizer recommended is 180 to 200 kg nitrogen, 80 kg phosphorus and 80 kg potassium, 25 kg of zinc sulphate per hectare. Full dose of phosphorus, potash, zinc and 10% nitrogen applied as a basal dose. Remaining fertilizer given in the split doses. 20% nitrogen at 4 leaf stage, 30% nitrogen at 8 leaf stage, 30% nitrogen at flowering stage and 10% at grain filling stage. This split dose is recommended because at a stretch plant cannot uh, take the nitrogen and if the nitrogen dose is low only the vegetative growth is promoted and reproductive phase is prolonged so the one more peculiar character about maize is all the nitrogen utilization is up to grain filling stage after that if nitrogen is applied also it the plant cannot uptake the nitrogen so doses are split into sub doses and given at different stages from four leaf stage to grain filling stage water management flooding is highly avoided in maize cultivation because the anaerobic condition may cause an uh, an oxygenic condition and that may kill the plant and um, the field will be highly damaged. Irrigation should be applied in furrows up to two-third. Light and frequent irrigations are for inbreds. Sensitive stages are young seedling at knee leaf stage. High stage of flowering, grain filling stage, 10 days, uh, 10 days after grain filling. These are also the sensitive stages or critical stages. Factors considered for irrigation are rainfall, soil type, soil water holding capacity, etc. Weed management. Major weeds of maize are Cynodon ductilon, then uh, Dactylotinium, Echinocloa, control, uh, and other weeds are like Cypress, Amaranthus, Chinopodium, Parthenium, and Trianthema. Control measures are application of atrazine at the rate of 1 to 1.5 kg per uh, hectare, then annual manual weeding. Insect pest management. Major pest is semborer to control 1 to 2 sprays of a carboril or endosulfan after 10 days and 20 days of uh, germination. The major problem nowadays is fall armyworm. This can also be controlled by integrated uh, pest management approaches but not with a single chemical because it's a predatory or uh, it's a voracious pest we can say. First spray 500 gram carboril or 625 ml of endosulfan at 35 EC. Second spray is 750 gram of carboril or 900 ml of endosulfan 35 EC. For disease management, estimated loss due to major disease in maize in India is 13.2% out of which foliar disease cause 5% loss, then stalk rot, root rot, ear rot cause 5% loss. Major diseases are tersicum leaf blight, for that we may apply Zineb or Maneb at the rate of 2.5 to 4 gram per liter at 8 to 10 days interval. Then for Mady's leaf blight, Titan M45 or Zineb at the rate of 2 gram per liter of water that is 2 to 4 applications. Polysora rust, 
education in the field. Earthing up. During earthing up, third split of nitrogen should be applied followed by hoeing. It should be done before tasseling stage to save crop from lodging. Detasseling. Detasseling should be done in female before anthesis. Detasseling. This is a major practice. Detasseling. This is a major practice when we go for a male sterility or something like that in hybrid seed production. Uh, Detasseling should be done in female before anthesis. It should be practiced row wise. No leaf should be removed. The removed tassel should not be thrown in the field but fed to the cattle. To our for detasseling we should not take out the boot stay boot leaf because if we'll remove the boot stay boot leaf at least 20 to 30 percent yield loss will be expected so here as it is shown here uh, we should hold like this and remove the tassel carefully if we'll remove it with boot leaf the result will be like this Controlled pollination. For controlled pollination, we should go for um, applying tassel and silk bag. For silk bag, the pinning and tagging is very important. As far as possible, we should uh, take the uh, silk bags which are uh, available in butter paper form. This is butter paper silk bag and this is a polythene silk bag which may increase the respiration inside the cob and may cause the insect or uh, disease uh, pressure in uh, at the cob side so it should be avoided harvesting male lines must be harvested first then the female to avoid confusion optimum moisture for grain harvesting should be 20 percent harvested crops should be spread evenly instead of pooling because pooling may enhance the post harvest diseases stages of crop inspection for hybrid seed production uh, five uh, recommendations are given at the time of sowing during pre flowering or vegetative stage during flowering during post flowering or pre harvest stage and at the time of harvesting post harvest management drying and sorting of seed parent cobs sun drying is the best spread on tarpaulin sheets to avoid seed injury 13 to 14 percent moisture should be retained then shelling shelling should be avoided during high moisture to avoid embryonic damage it should be done manually or power operated maize sheller generally the recommended harvesting is at physiological maturity when the moisture is 20 percent and uh, once we'll allow it for drying the moisture level will come to 13 to 14 percent at that time we may remove the seeds from a cob seed processing it should be undertaken when seeds dry completely to maintain quality remove all the undersized broken damaged and malformed seeds it should be done in seed processing plant seed storage and marketing seed drying should be done to bring moisture up to 8 percent and should be kept in aerated jute bag store in dry and cool place to avoid germination and vigor loss during storage list of research uh, released hybrid varieties for Uttar Pradesh are for extra early maturity Vivek 5, Vivek 15, Vivek 17, Vivek 21, Vivek 27, PMH 2 early maturity hybrids JH3459, Prakash, PH2 medium maturity like uh, HM8, HM10, Malvia hybrid Makka 2, Bio9637, DK701 and late maturity NEH132, NEH131 uh, and others. QPM hybrids like HQPM45 and other hybrids of HQPM series. Seed production standards. Isolation distance 
for maize hybrids minimum isolation distance for uh, foundation seed is 400 and for certified seed it is 200 weed seeds should be none germination 80% moisture is 12% for vapor fruit containers 8% seed standards in hybrid seed production pure seed 98% inert matter 2% other crop seeds 10 per kg weed seeds none next is synthetics and composites these are two type of varieties in maize synthetics are the these are mainly produced in population improvement program these are maintained by open pollination wherever hybrid seed production is difficult still in some of the farmers field composites are highly recommended the difference between synthetics and composites synthetics are tested for gcm yield can be predicted in advance and reconstitution is possible whereas in composites gca is not considered in advance yield cannot be predicted because yields of all the f1s among the component lines are not available and reconstitution is difficult synthetics crossing in all combination of number of lines that combine well with each other composites it is mixing of seeds of several phenotypically outstanding lines it and encouraging open pollination to produce crosses in all combination among the lines synthetics and composites have optimum characters standardized the pure seed for foundation is 98 and certified is 98 this is how the hybrid seed production pipeline goes this is the farm for producing if any farmer or producer wants to produce the certified seed he has to fill this form development of maize hybrid these all things i have covered already let us talk about heterosis heterosis is superiority of f1 over both the parents or the superior parent hypothesis is physiologic stimulation or over dominance heterosis comes when the parents are crossed it may be due to some of the genetical reasons physical physiological or it may be anything the theories of heterosis mainly depends on dominance over dominance and epistasis theory in general dominance is mainly accepted whereas we cannot eliminate over dominance and epistasis as we discuss in maize dominance over dominance both predominance and e- predominate even epistasis also contribute performance of hybrids the concept of heterosis was given by shell in 1964 heterosis or hybrid vigor these are synonymous the effect which is opposite to inbreeding depression aspect of quantitative genetics heterosis is expressed as superiority in performance of hybrids over the parents heterosis is f1 minus p1 plus p2 divided by 2 divided by p1 plus p2 divided by p uh, divided by 2 into 100 in other words heterobeltosis may be defined as f1 minus highest parent or better parent divided by better parent into 100 superior uh, superior heterosis is defined or standard heterosis is defined as f1 minus standard parent divided by standard parent into 100 heterosis or hybrid vigor that is kategoran hybrida is the interpretation of increased vigor size speed of development resistant to disease and insect etc manifested by cross bred organism as compared with their parents 
inbreeding inbreeding is a concept it is just opposite to heterosis as heterosis increases the yield and vigor but inbreeding reduces yield and vigor inbreeding is mainly the concept appears when we go for selfing and heterosis appear when we go for outcrossing or crossing inbreeding is a phenomena in maize it was first studied by shell in 1908 it is reduced in vigor or any other characters due to continuous inbreeding method used in developing inbred lines is similar to the pedigree selection in self pollinated crop individual plants are self pollinated through successive generation until homozygous and the inbreds are stable for morphological and physiological characteristics inbreeding depression inbreeding depression occur because of the effect of deleterious recessive alleles it is the accumulation continuous accumulation of recessive alleles hidden in the recessive allele hidden in the heterozygous form um, along with the dominant alleles so the continuous appearance and selfing leads to inbreeding depression as maize is moderately tolerant to inbreeding depression it leads to reduction in vigor productivity delay in flowering inbreeding reduce yield by 4.5 tons per hectare decrease plant height by many centimeters increase day to silking by many days as given by hollier and sears in 1973 development of maize in red line by selfing here tassel will be covered by waterproof paper to avoid unwanted pollen and pollen is collected by tapping the bagged tassel the tip shoot may be cut the exclude foreign to exclude the foreign pollen ear shoot is covered with a transparent plastic bag but in indian condition we mainly recommend the butter paper the silks ready to pollinate pollen ready to be placed on the silk on the same plant that is nothing but inbreeding or selfing and the tassel is covered with tassel bag to avoid the insect or other contamination and it is better way to collect the pollen of the same plant the paper bag is secured to the stalk by a stapler to avoid the wind damage and it should be tagged development of maize hive inbred lines by selfing it may take 7 to 8 generations of selfing there are other methods of inbred development also like sib mating in sib mating the generations taken to attain the homozygosity is as twice as selfing the development of superior inbred is a challenging task thousand of inbred may be developed in order of satisfactory parent to be found the number of hybrid combinations in half diallele cross diallele cross is crossing in a definite fashion in all combinations or in one direction in single cross it is n into n minus 1 by 2 in double cross it is n into n minus 1 into n minus 2 by 2 in three way cross it is n into n minus 1 n minus 2 n minus 3 by 8 without reciprocal crosses if reciprocal crosses and parent the number of cross combinations is n square where n is the number of parents the problems involved in testing all possible crosses if we have 50 in red lines we will get this many here the numbers are given clearly estimating the performance of double cross hybrids in maize 
Jenkins in 1934 used four methods to estimate the performance of double cross hybrids. First one is the six possible single cross among the four parents of double cross that is given in the formula a into b plus a into c plus a into d plus b into c b into d c into d divided by 6 the four single cross not used in making double cross are given as a into c plus a into d plus b into c plus b into d divided by 4 then diallel cross and finally top cross top cross is given as a into variety b into variety c into variety and d into variety top cross here crossing each inbred with the same selection cultivar that is for to with the open pollinated variety this cross can also be used for gca evaluation performance of inbred line inbreeding effect here we can see the loss of vigor and uh, misplacement of the silk silk as it will be appear in the nodal region but here we can see the silk at the region of where the tassel appears hybrid and parent this is the effect of heterosis where we cross uh, two inbreds this is one inbred and this is another inbred when we cross them it will give better yield it doesn't ensure that all the uh, inbreds when we cross they will give the similar effect or the gigantism or the heterosis effect it may be in negative direction also so there is one prediction that if we will go for around 1 lakh cross combinations of inbreds maybe 5 to 6 best heterosis combination heterosis outcome we may find so that may be due to the physiological efficiency increased physiological efficiency or uh, intake of more metabolites better cross compatibility or may be due to less methylation pattern which may give more expression of the genes Just cover some uh, points about double cross the historical aspects shell in 1908 proposed using inbred lines as parents of maize hybrids for two practical reasons inbred lines reproduce themselves faithfully from year to year hybrids can be produced consistently year after year prerequisites for commercial use in annual species shall also pointed out that major difficulty in selling hybrid seed to farmers was producing the seed economically because of the low vigor and yield of inbreds seed for commercial use would be produced on a female bear plant that bears a small ear with small kernels in the early years of hybrid maize single cross hybrids of maize did not appear to be commercially feasible solution to this problem was jones in 1918 proposed a double cross system for producing commercial hybrid double cross seed was produced on yfn plants that produced larger ears and kernels economically for commercial purpose three way cross hybrid this uh, led the world during 1940 and 1960s and uh, this improved the production of seeds in popcorn sweet corn and others other specialty corns hybrid improved very little Douglas in 1960 noted the rapid fixation of genes in conventional breeding procedures which reduced the efficiency of selection for combining ability the extremely large number of plants that must be sampled to identify favorable genotypes that led to development of three-way cross hybrids conclusion single crosses are generally more productive more homogeneous than 
other hybrids no differences in yield stability among the three type of hybrids thank you